operate at the intersection of greatness. Brand accelerator action number three, operate at the intersection of greatness. My son, Ben, is six years old now. For his fifth birthday, he wanted a hermit crab. The reason I know he wanted a hermit crab is because every day for three months leading up to his birthday, he would say, Dad, for my birthday, I would like to have a hermit crab. <laughs> And every day I would say to Ben, Ben, if on the morning of your birthday, if you still want a hermit crab, I will take you up to Petco and I will buy you a hermit crab. On the morning of his fifth birthday, Ben jumped into bed with Barb and I, my wife Barb and I, and he said, Dad, today is my birthday and I want a hermit crab. I said, Ben, happy birthday. It is now 2 a.m. <laughs> in seven hours. In seven hours I will take you to Petco, but please go back to sleep. At 9 o'clock in the morning, we pulled up to Petco. We went up to the woman behind the counter, and I said, Ma'am, today is my son Ben's fifth birthday, and he would like to have a hermit crab. Can you please show me where they are? So the woman led us over to a glass-encased area, and there were a bunch of pretty little shells inside the uh, glass-encased area. And I said, Ma'am, I see the shells, but where are the hermit crabs? She said, The hermit crabs are inside the shells. So I said, okay. Ben picked out his favorite shell and we went on home. Now I assumed that when we got home that the hermit crab would come out of the shell during the daytime and would go back inside the shell at nighttime. I assumed wrong. The hermit crab stays inside that shell all day and all night. We have now had Hermie for 16 months and I have never seen the crab. He stays inside that shell all the time. And that's exactly what we do when we don't put our strengths and our passions into our work every day. The greatest value that any of us have to bring to our customers is us. And the greatest value that we bring as individuals is the combination of our strengths and our passions. I have four strengths and two passions in my professional life. I can be a, a very good listener. I can listen to what a client says today and connect it to something that they said four months ago and put it together in a way that adds value. I can simplify the complicated. I can take some complicated business theory and make it practical and functional and usable. I am a good collaborator. I can, I'm not an expert in any industry, but I can bounce ideas back and forth with individuals until we come up with an idea that moves results forward. And I can be candid. I can sit in a room all day in a meeting and observe an executive in action. And at the end of the day, we can go into a private room and I can share with that person my candid feedback. I can say, I don't know if you realize this, but every time this one person spoke, you listened. But every time this other person spoke, you interrupted. Why is that? I have two passions in my professional life. I love, love, love to learn what makes other people successful. I am constantly reading books and magazines and interviewing people and finding out what makes them successful. And my other passion is I love to work with people to achieve better results in whatever they want to achieve. It doesn't matter what their industry is or what their title is or what their function is. What outcome do they want to improve and how can I work with that individual to improve that outcome? Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Dan, there is nothing unique or unusual about those strengths and passions. A lot of people have those same strengths and passions and you would be right. But the reason why those strengths and those passions are so enormously useful to me is because they're my strengths and they're my passions. What are your strengths and your passions? So I encourage you to answer three questions over the next 72 hours. The first question is, what are your strengths? What is it that you are particularly good at? What are your passions? Question number two, what are your passions? What is it that gets you excited when you do it? Whether it's at work or in your hobbies or in your home life? And the third question, and the, really the key question is, how can you use your strengths and your passions to help your customers achieve better results in whatever it is they want.